let's do a short recap on the basics of trigonometry. Now, from what you've learned before, let's start with a right angle triangle with an angle theta. In this case, the angle theta is between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. In essence, it's, a, it's an acute angle. Now, this length over here, which is opposite of the 90 degree angle, is called the hypotenuse. It's also the longest line or longest length on the triangle triangle. This is the opposite side. And this is the adjacent side. Okay. Now, you still remember the mnemonic that we use to remember our trigonometric functions? Toi. Uh, and so. So, let's have sine theta will be equals to the length of the opposite side over the length of the hypotenuse. Cosine theta would be the length of the adjacent side over the length of the hypotenuse. And tangent theta would be the length of the opposite side over the length of the adjacent side. So let's have a practical example of a triangle that we are very familiar with. In this case, this is three units, this is four, and this is five, a Pythagorean triplet. And let's have the angle theta be here. So sine theta is the opposite length over the hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine theta is the adjacent length over the hypotenuse. And tangent theta is given by the opposite length over the adjacent length. Now again, a reminder, this works when theta is acute, right? An angle between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. In our next section, we shall investigate what happens with sine, cosine, and tangent when the angle is obtuse, meaning more than 90 degrees, less than 180 degrees.